lot of people ask me how is it that working with transgender clients became pretty much my area of specialty. So that's definitely an interesting story. Uh, basically, I went to graduate school to become a counselor. Um, this was uh, after uh, my divorce and when I finished graduate school, I was a little bit burned out. Uh, I decided I wanted to take a little break from counseling. I ended up working at our local Pride Center here in Colorado Springs. And I just started off wanting to do whatever I could do there just so I could get involved with the community. Um, I had come out as being gay uh, while I was in graduate school. So I thought that'd be a neat way to immerse myself make new friends, make new contacts. And so I actually ended up being promoted to the associate director of the Pride Center uh, while I was there. So I worked there for about a year and a half. And even though at the time I didn't know that that was a really, really good idea, it turns out it worked out perfect. I made um, all the connections I needed to make. I established myself as somebody that the community could trust. And that actually was the first time I started interacting with people who were transgender. I really, really wanted to be in private practice. I knew that that was what I wanted to do from the start. And especially when it came to working with transgender clients, I wanted to be able to um, be able to do what I knew was what was best when it came to working with them. I didn't want there to be a lot of restrictions. And little by little, word got around that I was pretty much the only counselor in town who worked with transgender clients to the extent that I could not only be a good listener but also help them in their transition. It really made me realize, you know, it's okay for me to say that I'm an expert in this area. You know, I didn't want to say it uh, before I really felt like I was prepared to do so. But at that point I was getting um, recognized as being someone who knew more than anybody else locally about what it's like to work with the transgender population. I ended up starting a blog. Um, I love to write so it was a really great way for me to integrate my love for writing and also my area of expertise. I realized that I wanted it to go big. I wanted as many people as possible to be able to learn um, and grow and be supported by what I could maybe do for them. Over the next year or so, the blog just started to grow and grow. I created a Facebook page called Conversations with a Gender Therapist and that page began to get more and more likes and then I also created a YouTube channel and so once I got to that point where I was getting more of my information out there to basically the entire world I realized at that point that I had I had reached a, a point in which I could really share uh, myself with others and help others in a way that I hadn't been able to do just by being in my office one-on-one -on -one with clients. I get a lot of messages, you know, emails, YouTube comments, Facebook messages from people around the world. And there was this theme, this question that kept coming up from people. And um, even if everybody's story was a little bit different from one another, the basic topic was the same. People wanted to know um, if I could help them figure out their gender identity. And I realized it's time, I need to write a book. I enjoy writing in coffee houses because um, it gives me a place to be able to, for one, um, enjoy coffee, but for two, I really don't like being alone when I write. It's a very creative space for me to be in. I'm very particular about the coffee shops I work in because they are places that I feel um, fuel my creativity. My hope is that this book will be able to help people answer their questions about their gender identity and if this book can help more people be able to go through that process of answering these questions and then being able to make the choices in their life that make much more sense for them than this other person who they don't really feel like they are, then I feel that that would mean my mission was accomplished. You know, even if it's just the ability to be able to understand themselves better as a whole person. That right there is going to um, achieve something that I feel is really one of the biggest missions in life is who am I and how can I live my life as that person.